There are four basic steps to use most portable fire extinguishers. However, people often panic when they see a fire and forget exactly what to do. To help you remember the four basic steps of fire extinguisher use, just remember P-A-S-S, -S, or PASS. The P stands for pull the pen. Stand several feet back from the fire while holding the extinguisher in one hand and then insert your finger into the round end of the retainer pen and firmly pull. And don't worry, the thin plastic band that holds the retainer pen in place on most extinguishers will break relatively easy. The second step is to aim the nozzle or discharge hose at the base of the fire. The idea is to apply the fire extinguishing media towards the material that is burning and not at the flames that may be leaping up high. Step three is to squeeze the handle to discharge the fire extinguisher. If you let go of the handle, the discharge will stop and if you squeeze it again, it will resume. The fourth and final step is to sweep from side to side as you slowly approach the fire. This allows you to cover all of the burning material and not just that located at the center of the fire. In review, the four steps of the PASS method are pull the pin out of the handle, aim at the base of the fire, squeeze the handle, and sweep from side to side. Here are some important things to keep in mind in case you are going to try and extinguish a fire. The first is to never get yourself in a position where you could be trapped should the fire spread. Always maintain a clear path away to the nearest exit or other safe area and evacuate immediately if the flames, heat, or smoke seem to be getting out of control. And once you have extinguished the fire, keep an eye out for flare-ups. Sometimes the fire continues to smolder beneath the burnt debris and it is not uncommon for a fire to reignite several minutes later. Fire extinguishing media such as water or foam can collect on the floor around a fire and cause you to slip, as can ash or liquids from containers that might have burst during a fire. So don't run, just walk in a controlled manner so you don't slip and fall. Also keep an eye out for any boxes, pallets, or other materials that are placed on shelves or stacked near the fire area as they could become unstable from fire damage and fall over on you. And always turn in any extinguisher that has had its pin pulled out of the handle to be checked. Even if you did not squeeze the handle, you may have broken the internal seal that maintains the pressure inside of the extinguisher so play it safe and get it checked out. So in review, take some time to familiarize yourself with the types and sizes of portable fire extinguishers around your workplace as well as any you may have at home or in your vehicles. And if you do discover a fire and are going to try to extinguish it, notify someone else about the fire and then remember pass, pull, aim, squeeze, and sweep. These are the four basic steps to use a portable fire extinguisher. Also, keep in mind the importance of maintaining awareness of your surroundings so you don't become trapped or injured while attempting to extinguish a fire. Finally, never attempt to use a fire extinguisher if you are not comfortable doing so. Instead, you should evacuate immediately and go to a safe area in accordance with your organization's emergency action plan. If you have any questions at all about the use of a portable fire extinguisher, please talk to your safety representative or supervisor at work. You can also contact the safety professionals at OSHA Training Services.